Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehina with Miss Dehina's Lego Robotics. Miss Dehina, what are you doing on the floor? Well, Johnny wrote me and said, Hey, Miss Dehina, how can we remote control our EV3 robot? Because the Inventor app is no longer on the Play Store anymore. I still have it on my phone, but it's just somehow not able, you can't access it anymore. So I'm like, oh shoot, how are people going to remote control their EV3 robot? So this video today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you what your alternatives are to being able to control, remote control, your EV3 robot. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay, so thank you again, Johnny, for that question because it, it became the topic of today's video. And I also wanted to know, hey, for those of you that have an EV3 robot, and you know you never um, downloaded the inventor app what are you gonna do now and I wanted to come up with a solution for you so today what I'm gonna do is just show you where to get the app that can now control your EV3 robot okay guys just go ahead and go to your Play Store and you're gonna be looking for EV3 remote Robo G just go ahead and install it and we're gonna go ahead and open it up And we're going to go ahead and just go to Simple Robo. And we're going to make sure that your phone is paired with your EV3 brick. Look at all these bricks that used to be connected. So you're just going to go ahead and as soon as your brick pops up, you're just going to go ahead and tap on it. Okay, so once you're in the app, you can choose which robot you want to control here. So I just wanted to do one that drives. I just want the robot driving, but if you have like a medium motor, then you can pick this one here. But I got my trusty Riley Rover here. And so all I want to do is drive. So you're gonna choose and, oh, that's right. You have to first make sure that you pair your phone with your EV3 robot. And because I live in Tennessee, I got Hino TN. So I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, and once it comes up here, I am, I am brought to this screen here. So you can now choose your speed. I'll just keep it at 50. And then you have a forward and backwards and left and right. The one thing that was cool about the Inventor app is you could do forward and turn at the same time. With this one here, you cannot, you cannot do that at the same time. So if I try to do this, let me just show you what the robot's going to do. See how it's going to do one or the other first. So let me just back this boy up. And so you just have to do, um, you know, one thing at a time. So I'm going to. So I'm just pressing right right there let me just bring this guy closer so you guys can see everything that I'm doing let me push this right here so it just has your simple commands here but for those of you that have been checking out my channel before and wanted to do you know like the soccer bot competition which is awesome you know that you're controlling it now you do have something that will help you remote control your robot here so i was just glad to be able to help johnny out um, so johnny if you're watching this video this does work you have to just make sure that your phone is paired with your ev3 because i was getting this error message when i was trying to connect but um, if, if you're trying to do that before your phone is paired with your ev3 this app is not going to work so you just have to make sure you um, you know compare everything and so this is you know I was a little nervous there for Johnny I'm like oh no you know we have to have um, an app to be able to remote control your robot here and this was just um, something that I saw in my Play Store that's just going to allow you to remote control your EV3 robot. So I was just glad for you, Johnny, and myself that we now have an alternative for those of you that cannot get the um, Commander app. Because the Commander app was a really cool app that allowed you to be able to 
you could just tilt your phone and be able to control your robot. I have not found anything else out there that allows you to, you know, tilt. But hey, if you're just wanting to remote control your robot here, we have an alternative there. So Johnny, there you go. Um, it's again, the Robo uh, remote. Be able to control your Mindstorms EV3 robot. And if you want me to, hey Racky, that was my cat. If you wanted to see again what it looks like, it's going to look like that. Wait, nope. The EV3 remote Robo G. I tried this EV3 remote. Um, I didn't quite, you know, get a chance to mess with it too much. But again, your EV3 remote Robo G should do the trick. So there you go, Johnny. Okay, Johnny, so there you go. Hopefully that was helpful to be able to, you know, remote control your robot. Because when we were doing robotics, that was a very fun part of robotics for my year two students was to be able to, once they were able to understand the programming of the robot, it gave them a little freedom to be able to create new robots, but being able to control the robot with their phones. And it was really neat because, you know, being in a middle school, you know, they're like, no phones out, don't have your phones out. And it was nice in my class to be able to say, if you're remote controlling your robot, you may have your phones. And so that was just a, a neat way for me to say, yes, you can have your phones out as long as you are controlling this robot, learning, having some fun, and just enjoying school and robotics at the same time. So hopefully that was helpful for all of you to be able to control that EV3 robot. I'll try to check out the other app and see if it's better than this one, and I'll bring that to you in a second video. Okay, guys? Thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.